Hello everyone. Chapter six is about determinants. Today, first I will explain a bit why we care about determinants and then I will define uh, mainly a term which is called the cofactor of entry of a matrix. Okay, let's start. So recall that when we had a two by two matrix with entries A, B, C, D, this matrix was invertible if and only if this numerical value AD minus BC is not zero. So we could easily determine if a two by two matrix is invertible by calculating or computing this value. So in this chapter, the goal is to generalize this result to larger matrices. So be careful that the determinant is indeed a number which can be computed from entries of a score matrix. So beside defining the determinants, what we do is we will discuss or basically we discover the relation between the determinant of a square matrix n by n, square matrix A, and the invertibility of the same matrix. So this section is about cofactor expansion. So before starting a couple of definitions, I would like to mention the notation that we that is used for determinant. For a given n by n matrix, the determinant of the matrix A is denoted by that of A, or we use two vertical bars. Now let's define determinant of a one by one matrix. Definition 6.1.1. So let A be a one by one matrix with entry A, then the determinant of this matrix A equals the only entry that it has. To define the, the determinant for larger matrices, we need a couple of definitions. The first definition is definition 6.1.2, which is about the minor of an entry or corresponding to an entry. Okay, let A be an n by n matrix with n greater or equal to two, then the minor the ij minor of A, which is denoted by m i j. So be careful, the ij minor. So we have the 1, 1 minor, the 1, 2 minor, and keep going. Is defined as the following. So let me explain. So we take the matrix A, so this, this, this matrix is A, and then we delete the ith row and we delete the jth column of this matrix, we end up with a smaller matrix which has the size n minus one by n minus one. And then we compute the determinant of this matrix. We end up with a numerical value. So this is just a number. So this number is called the minor of A corresponding to Aij, or basically we could we just say the Ij minor of the matrix. So we have the 1-1 one, one minor, which corresponds to this, the 1n minor, and keep going. Each entry has the corresponding minor. Now let me define the cofactor of an entry. So Definition 6.1.3, the cofactor of 
the entry AIJ denoted by CIJ is defined as the following. So CIJ is minus one I plus J times MIJ. So the cofactor of the entry AIJ is almost same as the minor MIJ, except you multiply with negative one on top as the power I plus J. Well, if you did not understand perfectly what are these two, example 6.1.1 will help you to, to, to see. So let's answer the example, then you understand much better. So example 6.1.1, let A be a two by two matrix with entries one, minus two, three, two. Find the cofactor C11, C12, and C22. Of course, there's one more cofactor, which is C21. But the example does not ask us to compute. So let's calculate C11. C11 equals... Let's follow the definition that we have, minus one, one plus one, M one one. I write all the details for the, for C one one because it's the first example, but later on we will write less. So minus one is squared is just plus one and then M one one. M one one was the determinant of the matrix one minus two, three, two. However, we have to delete because of this one, we delete the first row because of the second number in the, in the index. We delete the first column. And what we end up with is determinant of a one by one matrix two. So the answer is two. Good. Now let's calculate C12. C12 equals minus one, one plus two. Now I would like to quickly write the definition of M12, which is determinant. I use the other notation, two vertical bars, and then one minus two, three, two. And then let's remove the first row because of one here and the second column because of two here. And then we end up with minus one cube is negative and then three. And the last one, I write it here, C one, three, we have to, oh, I'm sorry. There's no uh, one, three, so C, two, two, which is minus one, two plus two, determinant of, let's copy the matrix, and then let's uh, remove the second row in this second column. So we end up with negative one power four, which is plus, and then one. So the answer is just determinant of a one by one matrix with entry one, which is one. So very quickly, if I want to summarize, we explain a bit why we care about determinants and then we learn how to compute mainly the cofactor of an entry. So in next class, we'll talk about the cofactor expansion.